welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube for a brand new set of our MLB The Show 22 Fiddle Phillies franchise mode. And right now we have ourselves a rematch versus the Mets, the team that knocked us off in the playoffs last season with a walk-off home run by Dom Smith. If you haven't checked the episode out, check it out. Figure out how we got here, the moves we made to get to this season. Now, we definitely have improved this team coming into the 2023 season. Uh, but I, I don't know if these are the moves that, uh, but these are the moves that are going to send us over the edge. You know, is this, is this team constructed to defeat a team like the New York Mets with Scherzer and DeGrom and, and Alonzo and, and Lindor? You know, all of these you know, big name players. You have to see last year batting, we were the best team hitting the ball. And we were also one of the best teams when it came to pitching. Speaking of pitching, last year's trade deadline acquisition, Madison Bumgarner, 32 starts, 16 5 on the season, 278 ERA. An overall very good season for the Mad Bum. As the first batter he faces takes that deep ball to left field for a leadoff home run to start this game off that probably one of the worst ways to start a game Madison Bumgarner definitely not thrilled with himself the Mets are happy of course the Mets are happy them and they're not Buck Showalter manager over there they're having a good time they're having themselves a great time over there and now we have Jeff McNeil up Jeff McNeil Lines that one up the middle. So a home run followed by a liner for a single. And that's going to be one man on, no one out. Lindor up and Lindor draws a walk. So all three of the first batters have reached base safely. As Madison Bumgarner is approaching that 20 pitch mark with no one out. Finally, getting the first out of the inning. That's going to be an Alonzo strikeout right there. And here we go, Eduardo Escobar sends that one to left. Schwarber ranges over for the catch. The runners will hold their bases, so no one advances as that ball gets in fairly quickly. Now, two away now here, one, two count, and that's going to be a liner or fly ball to left field. Schwarber makes the catch. So, not quite a one, two, three inning as we have Taiwan Walker taking him out in 32 starts last season. He went 8 and 11 with a 4.55 ERA. It was Walker we faced during the playoffs in that pivotal walk-off win for the Mets. So it's, it's a revenge game. First batter up, Kyle Schwarber sends that one to deep, uh, to high center field. Center field camps under that for the easy fly out. Now here we go, Reese Hoskins swinging that 12-6 curveball for out number two. First punch of the game for Taiwan Walker. Now up comes Harper, who puts that one on the ground. That one will beat the shift past the diving second baseman. There you go. Two out base to knock for last year's MVP. And now here we go. We have Castellanos going down swinging. That is... That's unfortunate. Dom Smith up. The man who ended the Phillies last year will... Fly out to center field. Mickey Moniak makes the catch. There you go. One away here in the top of the second inning. Now, J.D. Davis is up, and J.D. Davis sends that one to foul territory. Reese Hoskins makes the catch for the second out of the inning. So after a you know a lot of pitches last inning, Madison Bumgarner needs to get that pitch total down. And Wilson Contreras up. Will chop that down the third baseline. Bumgarner fires it. And just can't can't make the play in time. I don't know why that's Bumgardner's play to even make. In that situation, that should definitely be the third baseman or the catcher's play. Not the pitcher as he strikes out the next batter. JT up and JT sends that one deep to left. And when that one lands, this will be a tiny ball game. JT Riamuto, the best catcher in baseball. Absolutely demolishes that one for his third on the season. You like to see that as JT rounds the bags. Here he comes, stepping on home plate. It's going to be some high fives as this is now a 1-1 ball game. 
Mets manager not named Buck Showalter, not happy. Not happy at all. Now, Walker taking on Bryson Stott, who's going to try and check his swing. They're going to say he went around, and they're going to throw him out at first base. As Stott did not think he went. Now, Contreras behind the plate, coming over from Chicago. It's, you know, they have two Chicago, but not two Chicago players. I don't know. It's a base knock now. One man on, one out. Mickey Moniak up, and Moniak draws a walk. Walker, you know. Throwing some pitches this inning, gonna get up over that 40 pitch mark, which, you know, can set the pace for, you know, balls, uh, you know, the innings getting away from pitchers. But just like that, a double play ends the inning. Pitch count not gonna get away from him. As here we have the first batter in the third inning flying that one out to deep center field for the catch. And that's gonna be the first out here of the inning. Now we have Madison Bumgarner. He's on the mound. We have Mickey Moniak in center field, just a lockdown defensive center fielder, as it seems like it was past couple seasons. And we have Schwerber jumping the wall, and he cannot rob it. As Francisco Lindor hits his second home run of the season, second home run allowed by Madison Bumgarner here in this ball game. Definitely not the outing you wanted from a player making the amount of money that Bumgarner is making every season, but. As long as he can get you a good six innings, that's all you want out of him. Pete Alonzo strikes on that circle changeup for the third punch out of the game for Bumgarner. And now here we go, Escobar up, and Escobar grounds that one to the shortstop. Stott, stop, pumps, fires, and there you go. That's going to be the final out of the inning. Kyle Schwarber chops that one to Alonzo, and Alonzo takes it to the bag himself. Four out number one here in the third inning. 3-2 count for Reese Haas against his Hoskins. Swings through that slider. And the Phillies, what they really need the most right now is just to get Walker to throw pitches. And he is just not throwing pitches right now. He is getting easy, easy innings right now. While Bumgarner, who had a very rough first inning, you know, allowed the home run last inning. He, he's had to work a bit more than Taiwan Walker has. You know, now with that... 2-1 lead. Walker's definitely at the advantage. Bumgarner strikes out Dom Smith. You like to see that right there. Big revenge punch out. We have J.D. Davis who sends that one to right. That one gets down in front of Harper who gets in second base quickly. So it's going to be a two-out single. That's going to be followed up by Wilson Contreras grinding that one to Segura. Gene Segura over to first in time for the final out of the inning. So through four innings now are the Phillies. And I guess that through the other Mets. The Phillies pitching is through four innings. All right, fifth fifth punch out. Walker's got five punch outs. He's got six punch outs. You know, this team, this team might be a good hitting team, but this team also strikes out a ton. You now, based mostly on the amount, you know, they go for broke a lot, swinging for the fences. As Walker strikes out the side in order. Mark Canna up now. Mark Canna. He's going to chop that one to Stott. Stott will make the play in time for the first out here in the fifth inning. You like to see that now as McNeil's up. And McNeil chops that one back to Stott again. Firing on the run. And there you go. Two away now. Both issued by Stott. As in comes Francisco Lindor, who takes that one to deep right field. And that one will be his second home run of the game. His third on the season, his second on the game. As Bumgarner, just not that prototypical mad bum self. Definitely showing his age and lack of you know, dominance that he once had when he signed that super contract with the Arizona Diamondbacks a couple seasons ago. Now Alonzo up and Alonzo goes down. So it's not like he's not effective. He's just not effective in the same way he once was. As Segura gets robbed of a base knock right there. Lindor is absolutely stealing the ball away from him. Alec Bohm goes down swinging. Eighth punch out of the game. 
And now here we have Schwerber who sends that one to right with a runner on first. And that one is going to clear the wall. Schwerber muscles that one over the wall his first on the season. That's going to be a two-run shot right there. Giving this Phillies game and a tie. Tying this Phillies game up three apiece each. That's what you need. That's just what you need right there. That's what this team's done. You know, these past, you know, last season. I guess even the start of this season right now. Just hit clutch home runs. You have a lineup that's full of power. Bob, that has some more speed to it. But just a bunch of teams that can run into home runs whenever they need it. But with that home run, Strowman's day is done. So he can't get the loss or the win. But he could get the no, he does get the no decision. Tyler McGill and McGill pitched a bunch of innings in last season's playoff game. In that elimination game for the Phillies. Now McGill, 3-2 count. And he's going to walk the first batter he faces in Reese Hoskins. Bold move there by Tyler McGill. As up comes Harper, who's also going to walk. Very bold strategy from Tyler McGill with two outs of the inning. He is he is working that pitch count. 21 pitches, and now the bases are loaded. Three straight walks for Tyler McGill as JT comes up, and JT sends that one into the gap. That one's down. One runs in. Here comes Harper, and now here comes Castellanos from first. That's going to be a bases-clearing double for JT Rio Muto. Alec Bohm pumped coming off the bench right there. And then comes Max Scherzer. McGill walks the bases, let it in promptly, allows them to be un, you know, unloaded with that two-out double as Scherzer. Now in two games, he's got four, he's got four and a two-thirds innings. Imagine a 5.79 ERA. Don't you just hate that, honestly? You know, Max Scherzer pitching out of the bullpen. That's disgusting. But here we go. Francisco Morales, last year's rookie relief pitcher, coming in, you know, for, you know, just to, just for some innings. And with a three-run lead right now in the top of the sixth inning, it's going to be a big punch out right there for Morales. You know, his first on the season. And now here we have Brandon Nemo and Nemo. Punches out again. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Morales. And Dom Smith. Here you go. It's a 2-2 count. And there you go. Francisco Morales. Number 69. Wine and dine these Mets to a 1-2-3 inning. Gene Segura up. And Segura swing at that pitch that's way too high and in to do anything with. That's the first strike of the game for Scherzer. Now here we have Mickey Moniak. And Moniak watches ball four go by. So, four walks issued the last two innings. Alec Bohm now pops that one up. Pete Alonzo ranges back, and Alonzo makes the grab. Two outs now with a runner on first for Schwerber, who puts that one on the line. That one's going to get down, rolling all the way to the wall. You have some speed on first, and that's going to be an RBI double for Schwerber. Is that run will slide in head first. Mickey Milniak doing what he does best. You know, running in defense, running on the base pass. That's why you put him there. You get him on, you get like a Schwarber, a Hoskins, or a Harper just to knock him in. Speaking of Reese Hoskins knocking runners in, and that's going to be a two-run shot to left. As this Phillies game is officially blown wide open. First home run of the season for Reese Hoskins. As the Phillies have extended that lead yet again. Massive, massive lead right now for the Phillies. As they are just in control now. Mets burning through that bullpen as in comes John Curtis, the four-year pro. He's 6'5". And he is a righty. 6'5 righty. You know, he's looking for, you know, just one out. Bryce Harper chops it right to the shortstop, and that's going to be that one out. So Curtis comes in, gets the out, and now here we have Francisco Morales out for a second inning of work. It's going to be a chopper to Bohm, who fires in time for the first out here of the seventh inning. You like to see that right there from Alec Bohm. And out comes Wilson Contreras back in that nine hole, puts that one on the line the center field. Moniak plays it off the hop and gets it into second base. For a, you know, it's a, it's a one out single. Double play depth on, and now we have Mark Canna striking out, so it doesn't even need double play. 
No double plays necessary right now. Just get the fly out, get the punch out. Morales, you can do it. He he didn't do it. That that's a home run right there, making this a five to nine ball game. Philly's still leading by four runs after that home run given up by Francisco Morales. Yeah, I hate to see that. You really do hate to see that right there. Because the young player, he was cruising. That's an absolute confidence killer for a young pitcher like that to allow a home run. Now we have Francisco Lindor up, and Lindor goes down swinging. So, hey, he's got some, he's got some luck versus the veteran. Castiano strikes out swinging on that Curtis fastball. And we have JT up. JT connects with that one. Sends that one deep to left field. That one's not going to be deep enough. It's going to be caught by the center fielder in like left center. 42nd out here in the 7th inning. Now, Phillies don't need any runs right now. But they just, they're just burning through this Mets bullpen. You know, just make the Mets switch their pitchers out. Ruin them. You know, ruin this series for them. Make their bullpen super depleted. Super hard to even manage, really, because they have no one left. Jojo Romero and the hard-throwing lefty, who was dealing with a Tommy John surgery in year number one, is back here. The three-year pros, 5'11 and 200 pounds. And Jojo Romero taking on Alonzo, sends that, gets that one hit to deep center field. Moniac ranges back, and Moniac will make the catch. There you go. Escobar up, 1-2 count, and Escobar swings through that fastball. 95 on the gun for the two-seamer. It's the first punch out of the game. Now here we go. Brandon Nimmo sends that one to left. Schwarber's going back. He's at the wall. He leaps, and it's off the facing right there. That's going to be it's gonna be a two-out triple right there. We threw the second base, and we throw the cutoff guy. That's probably... Fine out third, but doesn't matter. You know, a bloop hit, you know, taken away by Mickey Moniak right there. As in comes Drew Smith. Mets not having any consideration for this bullpen. Philly's getting multiple innings out of Morales, and the Mets seem like they've gone with a pitcher every every new inning. You know, barring them having a very quick inning. 3-1 count, could have held it and, you know, waited for a ball, but no. That's going to be... That's going to be not what you want to see. Drew Smith, you know, he's he comes in. He comes up clutch for the Mets. But this time, the Phillies going to get a base knock. It's going to be a one-out single. So, man's going to be on first base now uh, for Alec Bohm, who's a very good contact hitter in this game. And there you go. Over the head of the right field of third. The guy, runner going to third. Got off to a slow start. But, hey, it's second and third now. One away. No, a ground ball, and no, they're going to intentionally walk Kyle Schwarber. They're intentionally walking him. Are we in June? I don't think we're in June yet, and they're walking Schwarber? Really? Reese Hoskins, that's a good reason why. You, you know, Reese Hoskins overexcites, swings at that very high fastball. Now, two away, 2-2 two, two count, as Bryce Harper sends that one deep to right. That one's back. It's back, it's going, and it is gone. That is a grand slam for Bryce Harper. You walk Schwarber to get to Hoskins, but then you have to face you have to face Bryce Harper right after him. That's not a power that's not a combination you really want to mess with. Harper, Hoskins, Schwarber, or Castianos. Who who you want to hit a home run off? You just pick your poison. One of them's gonna hit a home run. It gets bound to happen. Jolie Rodriguez in one game. He's got a 540 ERA. They try to make him pitch two innings. Not good for Jolie. He's a definitely a one-inning lad. As not Buck Shark. He gives him the ball and says, just get us out of this inning. Come on. 2-2 two -two count for Castellanos. That one is gone. Back-to-back -back jacks for the Phillies right there. Castellanos, his second of the season as he cruises around third base right there. You'll love to see that. You know, all of the Phillies hitters just getting their groove on and getting into the rhythm of hitting. But there's not a better opponent, honestly, to do this to than the New York Mets. You know, it's, it's the match. You gotta beat up on the Mets no matter what. JT 
Rolls that one to the shortstop, Lindor over to Alonzo in time for the final out. Now Romero out for his second inning of work. It's going to be a ball. Okay. It's fine. It's a 14 to 5 game. You don't got to be perfect. Contreras up, grounded to Stott, over to Segura, and back to Hoskins. Double play. Two out now here in the top of the ninth inning. As the Mets are down to their final out. 3-1 count to Canna. And Canna grounds that one to Hoskins. Who backhands it. Steps on the bag himself to end this ball game. So Bumgarner does not get the win. But he was a workhorse nonetheless. You know, a rocky, rocky start to this game. But he finished strong. You know, his first start of the season against the Mets. It's... A tough one. Oh, Bumgarner does get the win apparently. Never mind. I thought Bumgarner was pulled. And someone else was pitching during the time. No, it was Bumgarner. But next time you should do, peace out. Rock on. Sweet house. Yes, a great day. Catch you on the next episode of our.